Contreras saying two times and now Narvaez and Contreras is upset. He's gotten hit in the head and he's gotten hit in the back. Got it. Got it. A little edge, I like this. Uh, yeah, I mean, last time we saw it, gets him in the thigh. There are a couple of long conversations on how they were going to go out the show. Oh, the first pitch drills him. Castellanos gets a stare. Pitch away, squirts loose. Castellanos storms off the shovel. We save. And Castellanos right in the face of Woodford and other. Bench is empty. <laughs> oh, okay. I tripped over my own dick. Woo. So, anyways, number 80. Now it's 82. I made a couple mistakes. On the last, you know, what's that? About Joey Bart. Joey Bart plays for uh, San Francisco, not St. Louis. a lot of my mind. I always do. I, when I get. When the Indians win. It's like that. That moment. You're just. You're, you're at a lot. You just. You ab absorb the moment, man. You uh, embrace it. And you just. For me, I just. I love my tribe. I love baseball, period. But I mean, I love my tribe. That's how, uh, that's how Detroit felt, <laughs> suffering in FD. So anyways, um, number 82, uh, I forgot what I was going to say, damn it. So, you know what we do when we forget what we say? Oh, yeah, I know what we do. Uh, well, I have to bring it here after the, uh, I'm going to go to a video here, but here's what we're going to do. Um, I've got three of these bad boys right here. I actually have more, but I got a surprise, but that's for the next, uh, I don't know, whenever I get these done with these. But, um, I don't know if that, I think they tried, I, I, they, they started at, um, 405, I think. I don't know, God, am I good looking. Hey, listen, true story, man. I woke up, it was about 3 o'clock in the morning. And my eyes hurt, you know, like, you know, you ever wake up again, like a headache and you hurt for your eyes? So I go upstairs and I, you know, I can't barely see, it's dark in here, I'm just groggy, waking up. So I go and, you know, I splash water on my face and I, you know, I wash it, stuff like that. And I dry, I'm drying my face off and then I open my eyes and I look and I was like, God, am I a good looking dude? I'm a good looking motherfucker, man. I'm a good looking mofo. True story, I swear to God that happened. Couldn't believe it, man. It's tough being me. So anyways, we will talk a little bit about the tribe very briefly because I want to talk about them tonight on the next one I record um, because after our win, I know because I know we're going to win, right? Ain't sweat it because we are, man. We're, I'm not going to burn bread on us or say, you know, I'm not going to burn bread on us, but we are, we are gelling, man, with each other. So, and that's that. And better get something good out of here, tops. Smells like tops. Smells like two trials at 21. So, anyways, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> God damn it, man. So, anyways, um, so I'm gonna guide you this video. It's gonna be a really cool one too. Um, I'm gonna do. A, I got. I, man, check this out. I found these trailers for these real creepy ass, fucking brutal, fucking. I mean, brutal ass clown movies, man. They just look, they just look absolutely just vicious, man. And uh, I might play one of them trailers just uh, cause it's cool, man, they're cool. So, but I'm gonna play this video. I get to see you after the video. Don't, don't, uh, I, I don't know, man. Ooh, cows. Who's that, like, <laughs> 18. So anyways, I will see you after the video.
Hello. Hello. I want to see something really quick. Um, video that I'm about to play or that I did play or that was played. <laughs> um, I, I wanted to just single out the drummer. This guy is phenomenal. And even if you're not a percussionist, if you just watch him, he's very therapeutic to watch, very mesmerizing. His speed and accuracy is sick. I mean, sick. Yeah, I got some nice teeth, don't I, man? Got a real good looking bow So anyway, um, this is Rob Arnold. He's from the Strongsville area. Hey, Rob. I know you're sitting here watching this with Jeter and Bagwell and all those guys. It's been a long time since I've seen you and we talked. Um, man, I want you to check out their album. It's old. I mean, it's a few years old. Three or four, two to three years old, but phenomenal. Man, ahead of its, way ahead of its time. Drummer's sick. And, of course, Rob is, you know, sick, too. I'm real sick. I mean, listen to them riffs. You got to be twisted to come up with them, man. But I hope you enjoy that video. Or you're going to enjoy the video. I don't know how I'm going to do it. So, But regardless of the fact, watch this, guys. This guy is absolutely insane. Clinically percussionistly insane so with that being said get the fuck out of here peace stoner you ready blessed nevertheless do you have that shit up on your chest i got it up on my chest ah, fantastic
what you think? Well, I technically, I don't even know what I played yet because I haven't even done the video yet. <laughs> no, I just, um, you know, I stop it, then, you know, I go and I pick a video. <laughs> I cheat, totally cheat. Right there, it's his last breath. Um, I think this is Hate Breed right here. It's an old Hate Breed, old Hate Breed, old Jamie Josta. Like I say, I, I, I'm too lazy to go get a fucking fork, man. Or a fucking spoon or something, man. <laughs> I can't get the fucking shit up. So anyways, so I check this out after I fucking get this thing on. Maybe I could do like this. There you go. I just kind of squeeze it in there. I love Nutella. Nutella. Nutella on me, I'm going to Nutella on you. Mm. So check this out. I'm going through my stuff. And I find this. <coughs> Damn. Woo. Wow. I just wiped the floor with that and paint and everything else on my on my artwork and start. Look what I found. 2002. Five deals cologne of the expo. I was sick. I was sick. I disowned them for like an hour. <laughs> I, I didn't want to think about the guys, but when they did that, but then sports is a business, man. Um, it always has been, and I let my passion or my love for a sport get go blind to that aspect of the game. I mean. And when they say it's a game, it's a game. It's a game of finances. It's a game of heartbreak. It's a game of anything. I mean, anytime you get involved in sports, whether you yourself are playing sports or you yourself become a very big fan and you become attached and, you know, or, or you're in the fantasy leagues, anything, you're tied to it in some way. I get, I get, when I go to an Indians game, man, if the opposing if the opposing teams the guys behind hecklers, I'm fighting because I know they're gonna be talking smack. And got the right one here for that, Jack. What the Brett? The Brett, man, I know they look good. So see that? Anyways, ah, uh, you got the right one here for that. I don't let anybody, anybody dog my, not my Indians, not my tribe. Cause uh, hang on, there you go. Got a little piece of, I think bread on your face. <laughs> but I don't let anybody, not my beloved tribe, um, the tribe that I grew up that helped me through hard times when um, I was grounded or something. Well, the one thing my parents never took away was my AM radio. Yeah, AM, WGAR, 1220. I used to listen to the tribe. Back then it was, uh, Buddy Bell and Boog Powell and all those guys. What was it 1892 or something like that? <laughs> but they put me through some, you know, really tough times in my life and they were always there for me. Whether they were dealing our best players or that, um, you know, when, it, when they lose the World Series, they won the, you know, the Central or they won the, the American Pennant, whatever the case may be, I don't care. Because for me, my tribe is personal. I have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with my Cleveland Indians. Um, they're important to me in my life. And my daughters, too. My daughter loves the Cleveland Indians. She, well, she loves all the, you know, uh, Cleveland, you know, sports franchises. But I think she loves the tribe the most. So, um... It's very personal with me, and I take it personal. Like that, that, like that, that first year Case Western student, uh, uh, Skumunde, Murundi, or whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah, like you really know and care. You don't even care 
about you, you say sports teams should have generic names such as animals and symbols. Well, once again, generic that. How's that for a generic symbol, motherfucker? Because that's bullshit. It's people like you that give my beloved Indians and tens of hundreds of thousands, maybe, others, fans, a bad name, man. You know, stay on your side of the street. Seriously. Because you may be driving a big badass car or truck, but I'm driving a steamroller, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm going to make you a permanent piece of that fucking pavement, man. Say that three times fast. <laughs> right, Davey? So, um, uh, I'm trying to think here. Uh, shit. I have to stop this for one second because there's something I got to do and I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere, man. I mean, I fucked it up, man. I fucked it up. I was always going to be part, you know, let's see, one, two, there's going to be three parts of this. But anyways, I'm going to give a special shout out, man, to Brandon's baseball cards. Um, I watch the show, you know, I watch them occasionally. I, I, I watch a little bit of everybody. I try not to get too attached to one show. I do like Ryan Dog a lot, and I do like um, uh, PSA guy and the collector guy. But I also like Brandon right here. Brandon's, so what's up, Brandon? You the man, baby. Um, Brandon's uh, baseball cards. It's got a really good show, and I highly recommend it because check this out. Even an old cat like me who's been collecting for 40 years, because I'm 54. I know I'm good looking. Ding. I know, man. You can say it. Brandon, you can say it too, man. I know I'm good looking, no man. Anyways. Other sports shows, I'm not saying all, but other sports shows, it can be intimidating to the new guy. And even to the old guy. You know, even the old guy. Not me, though. Good shit. <laughs> okay, got, you could wrap up King Kong, Godzilla, and 18 polar bear together. It can intimidate me. But uh, for, uh, for a lot, it's tim intimidating. So you have certain people that, you know, like jabs. Because this is what's going to boil down to jabs. He'll bring the kid at you and make it fun for the case break. But anything else, he kind of, he talks down a little bit, I think. He downplays too much. And it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And sometimes very arrogant and cocky. Now, that's fine. But, you know, when you're making someone feel some type of way, and, it's, and this is supposed to be a, a hobby that's fun, well, here's what Brandon does. Where most make you feel intimidated or belittling or, you know, make you just want to say, fuck you, man, and <laughs> turn it off. Brandon makes it educating. He makes it welcoming. He doesn't make you uncomfortable. He breaks it down. He breaks his shit down, man. And I like how he does that because I learned a couple things from him. And you can too if you really pay attention and listen to what he's got to say. So I want to commend you, Brandon, uh, on your show, first of all, and the way your approach is, man. Because you have one hell of an approach. Uh, I like that. Um, and it, it, I, I assure you that the new guy, or newbie, greenhorn, whatever you want to call him, will, it will be more enjoyable. Now, I'm not saying that Jabs and, you know, PSA guy, right, and all the other shows are going to make him feel comfortable, but I think yours is the most welcoming and most, um, I don't know, laid back, down to earth, organic type, if that makes any sense. No? Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, so good job, Brandon. Um, you're an asset to the hobby of collecting cards world. Okay, you really are. Um, and he brought up a very good point. Anytime, if, when I open these cards up right here, and say I don't get an all, say I get maybe one all star, and maybe, because it says a guaranteed blue parallel, a royal blue parallel in each pack, you know, base card, and I don't get that. I really don't get nothing. Now, who am I to blame when I open this up on my show? Isn't possession nine-tenths of the law? Tell me if I'm wrong. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. So I've taken full responsibility of opening up something 
that I purchased and that I pieced out financially to other people. Now I got to make sure that they, you know, well, they're shit out of luck too, I guess, because that's a roll of the dice when you get one of these. That's the reason why they call it factory sealed. There's an old saying, out of sight, out of mind. If you don't want to know what's in it, don't open it. I mean, I'm sure curiosity killed a lot of cats, but I've had these sitting around for a couple weeks already. Yeah. I can let, I don't have to open mine up, you know? And then, on top of it, when Jabs opened up the 72 OPG, uh, box, that was a very expensive box. It's like four grand. Right around between four and 4,500. I've seen them at, and I'm sure they can go even higher, but he went back to the person that he got it from, and the company or the, the, the private entity that he got it from, being the people that they are, good people, gave him one, I don't know if he gave him one for free or gave him one at cost, but he, he got another one. And nothing happened out of that. Same thing. They didn't get no stars. He didn't get no hits. No, basically, you know, nothing from nothing. Well, they come to find out he, he got the ass end of the roll of fucking cards when they, you know, the cut, the prints. Well, he went back again or something like that. And, but he's very unprofessional about it. He made a donkey out of himself. And to me, that's just, sure, you want to feel like a kid again when you do this, but you don't want to be a kid. <laughs> be a big ass king when you do this. So, you know, for me, I still like jabs. I still respect them. But I don't take a lot of things he's, he does now seriously. It's just a fact. And I went back and I watched. Not that I didn't believe Brandon, but I wanted to go back and I want to see his reaction myself. And I went back in the archives and all that, and I, and I found it. And I watched it. Looked stupid. Sounded stupid. So, but uh, that was just one episode. That was one escapade, we'll say, out of, you know, not too many. He doesn't do too much crying. He does a lot of arrogance, though. Now, there's a difference between confidence and arrogance. There's that fine line. Got to watch which way you tip or teeter or tot. Or just plain fall. Don't be arrogant. Be fun. Be, be welcoming. Be fun like me. Good looking too. Be educational like Brandon. And be good looking like me. <laughs> so anyways. It's just about having fun people. But at the same time about. You know if you're a collector and you're in it for, to make money. Then there's a serious side to it too. Or if you're just collecting to collect because you have nothing to do in your boring, belittled, little tiny life like me, I sell a little bit. I got a, you know, Shopify store, um, which I'll later down the road tell you here, um, even though I'm on like episode 82. <laughs> but I'm more for it for the mis for the mis uh, the mystery of excitement and just, you know, an all around good feeling. So, and I've jabbed on long enough. I'm going to dip me some yeast or bread in this Nutella. Man, this shit's so fucking good. Oh. I feel like a pirate. Good job, Brandon. Don't get me wrong. I like jazz. I do. I just look at him in a slightly different way now. Oh, man. Harch. Um. Right. So let me cut this open. Um. Oh, fuck, man. Where are you my scissors at? <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you ever look for something? It's right in front of your face, like, where are my scissors at, man? Or where are my glasses at? I've done that a million times, man. Uh, all right, here we go. Here we go. All right. Um, here we go. Open this up. You guys know all the odds and all that. I've said it a bazillion times. 
All three of you out there know it already. I've already told you. <laughs> All right, there we go. Ah. It's the only thing about dreads, when they're coming in, they, they, they itch. So I'm going to take a look real quick. Oh, there we go. Those are going to be our hit cards in the center, as you all know. As you all know. And I got bread right there. No. All right, here we go. Get to my world. Open my world. World of art and sports, or baseball cards, I should say. I got a burp. All right. I'm going to blaze through these. Josh Reddick. Nice card. Uh, here we go. Um, man. Oh, Gratterall. Broussarder. Broussarder. Whatever. Gratterall, man. He's got a ring. You don't. And it's a, you know, a rookie card. I don't know why I'm doing like that, man. Also, I'm, I, I, I can never get the lighting right. There we go. That's a nice picture, yeah? Yeah? Felt like a Canadian there for a minute, eh? I can't see, though, man. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta do something about this. There we go. There we go. Oh, <laughs> speaking of Jim, Jiminez. There he is right here, rookie. He's not playing for... Uh, something happened. I don't know exactly what uh, happened. But, uh, was there, of course, you know, I'm mad. Uh, they played on the, you know, the Mets together. So, god damn it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Oscar Mercado. He's Cleveland Indians. Goes with me, and I got like five of these. So, Brandon Nimmo. All right. All right. Um, Nate Pearson. And I'm going to show you what we're opening up on the next show. Wait until you see it. Brandon, you might like what I'm opening up on the next show. Nah, nah, maybe not. It's kind of common. But no, it's well, no, it's not really. Vladimir Guerrero. Jesus. I can't say that. I can't say their names, man. Sorry. Boy, this guy's pissed. Uh, <laughs> this guy, I, I guarantee you, knows how to fight with a last name like this. Jake o Odery. <laughs> I can't even say Odor. I don't know that much about him. Odorizzi. Kind of like Bob Nepper. <laughs> I'm still roasting you, Bob, from fucking what? Last year, Nepper. Where's your buddy Shirley at? Minnesota <laughs> uh, Twins. They look like they're doing cartwheels. A bunch of sissies. Cause you ain't fucking winning it. The... Listen, they got Chicago and Minnesota battling out for the Central. You know what they're battling for? My nuts. Cause you guys ain't got a fucking prayer in hell, man. No way. Look at that. Bunch of, bunch of girly men doing a, <laughs> well, you get throwing you throw some leotards out there and do ballerina dance, mofos. Fucking wig. You're not a Yankee, at least. Colorado, yeah, Colorado team card. Man, a Yankee. But I had to fucking mention the Yankees, man. Brett Gardner. I like him, though. Not in the pinstripes. They just make me sick. Austin Meadows. Yuli Gurel. Ian, Ken Ian Kennedy. And here we go. John Gray. Oh, man, I got shit all over my shirt. <laughs> and you guys didn't say two fucking words to me about it, man. Brandon, did you see this? Did you know anything about this? I'm sending you my dry cleaning bill there. Ah. Uh, Sean Gray. <laughs> Adam Brown. <laughs> uh, Chadwick Trump. Uh, 
Elbows only. Angels. We all know who these guys are, right? Yeah. No introduction there. Uh, Kevin Grossman. Oh, the maniac, the Iron Man, the psycho of fucking pitchers. Who is he, people? He's the Iron Psycho Man of fucking pitching. This guy's insane. Max Scherzer, my favorite pitcher. Scherzer and the other. You know who they are. Hey, look at the eyes, man. They say, yeah, <laughs> they're fucking scary and they're not fucking swinging. If you fucking hit that bomb, I'm going to fucking kill you, man. <laughs> That's what... There's <laughs> ice cream. Uh, well, Los Angeles Dodgers uh, team card. All right, um, got a rookie card here. Uh, Nick's, Nick Madrill, Driggle. Nice card. And we got a James. Another rookie card. James Caffarillion. Some of these guys I'm not too familiar with. But I like the Oakland A, Billy Beans, boys. It's a great movie, Bunny Balls. My second favorite movie of all time. The first one I made about me, motherfucker. And uh, Alec. Oh, Alec Baum. 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 How do you fucking say it? Yeah, Baum. Boom, bam, bam. Boom. <laughs> they more like it? No. I like them. Uh, Danny Mendick. I don't know much about him either. I do, but I don't. I don't follow all these other teams, you know. I did when I was, you know, uh, you know, doing fantasy baseball. Okay, let's look at our hit card, which is on the bottom. Oh, here's Clevenger Ooh, and the fucking San Diego. But he's out for the entire year this year. Yeah, Tommy John surgery. Yeah, we're supposed to talk about the Indians, but we're not. I mean, because they haven't really played. They haven't really played, and I'm not going to sit there and brag about how good the tribe is because we all know how good they are. But anyways, Clevenger just does not look right in this fucking uniform. But a nice card. Mike's still my favorite pitcher. Love you, Mike. Get well. I know you're sitting there with Jeter, Bagwell, and uh, A-Rod, the unit, Big Randy Jackson. I know you're sitting there with these guys watching the show. I know you're, you're my number one fan. It's, it's cool, Mike. I, I appreciate it. Machado's there too, ain't he? Machado, Machado. Well, who else is that? Roberts? Lewis Roberts is there too? Wow, man. Uh, Alex Brigman. All right. I'm going to see. Let's just see what their hit cards are, real quick. Because uh, I'm going to say, here we go. Oh, here's a, here, I'll just get to the really good ones. Right, here's a nice one right here. Christian uh, Yever. Dominant pitcher. Dominant pitcher, this guy right here. Spencer Howard. Another one. Rookie card, too. Another another good pitcher, man. There's some guys here, man. And here's our boy. Okay, enough of him. Uh, here's a, here's a uh, Med Rosario. Here's our shortstop in the Mets uniform. No longer. And we got Hector. Okay, we don't need him. And, and okay, not him. And no, not him. And a Yankee. I ain't even got to mention Gliber Torres again. His name's starting to piss me off. Damn, and a Yankee again. It's a nice card. Luke Voigt. Boy, what a waste of cardboard. Not because of you, Luke. Well, yeah, you, you decided to sign that contract, so you take the, take the run of it. Bob Gibson. Or Robert. Nice. There's the royal blue parallel. Oh, Jacques Peterson. Peterson. Uh, this deck is was another, another fucking Yankee, man. What's with you Yankees, man? You're like roaches, man. I swear. Can't get rid of you, man. Blake Snell. And Garrett Cole. Now, before I go, I'm going to show you what we're going to open. Ah, uh, we got a, uh, 
Well, I'm gonna have to talk to you for a second because I don't want to waste the. Uh... Hang on one second. I'm gonna burn up some time here. And I don't want to, but hey, I'm gonna. Hang on, here we go. All right, hang on, here we go. Where's it at? Uh... Uh, there we go. All right. Well, there we go. Oh, shit. And. Ah. <laughs> Boy, that was that. Gave you guys a bathroom break. Um, 87 clear. Now, it's never been open. Even though this is off, how do I know? Because I do. It's never been open. And this is the um, the only reason. I'm not a big, huge fan of them, the uh, classic, um, but the Miners. It's a good set right here. I don't care what anybody fucking says. I've looked into this set even before I even opened the set. It's a good set. Um, the reason being is that... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll think of something, though. But I did look into this set. This is a really good set. Uh, a lot of good players here. I'm not going to go through all of them because right now I got 4,000 things on my mind. But... Uh, there's one more thing I want to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit. God damn it, man. I forgot. Boy, I just... Today's a bad day for memory. Um, I still got two of these, plus we are going to open this right here. Um, oh, yeah, look what I found today. Where's it at? Because I got... I don't know, 50, 60, 70,000 cars right here. <laughs> Check it out. The famous, infamous $56,000. <laughs> Whatever it is, man. It's a, I see it all over. The rarest of rare error cars. Who is it? <laughs> yeah, I got one too, buddy. As a matter of fact, I got two. I got them all. I'll put them all together and sell them to you for a hundred bucks. You guys with these ridiculous prices, man, you're scaring the new guys away. Or you're scaring, you know, people who are interested in collecting. You're driving them away, man. With stupid, inconsiderate, selfish greed. That's just ridiculous to put a price like that. You don't make it enjoyable. And I'll tell you what, if you had that card, if you were in front of me and you had that card, I'd take it from you. Yeah, oh yeah? And you take your ass whooping too, that come with it. <laughs> because you guys make me, you guys gotta quit this. You don't have to do nothing. But you think reasonable, man. Who's really gonna pay 56000 or whatever? I saw it for it was ridiculous how much, $39,000. It's not even graded. And it's a Don Rust 89. They're, inf they're famous for their errors, that's it. They were really not good looking set. It's really not a good looking card set at all, man. So, I don't think none of the Don Rosses were. That's just me. But who am I, right? I'm just a peon. I'm YouTube and you're watching me, motherfucker, and I ain't watching you. Right? Okay then, shut up. Here's a generic symbol for you. With that being said, they're falling down and broken my hip shits for real, people. And this is coming from my heart. Check on the senior citizens around you, okay? They can't get out of the house for whatever reason it be, man. They're senile, they're, um, you know, they're losing it, or they don't know how to drive, or they don't have family anymore, or the weather's got them trapped in there. They're senile. Check on them, okay? It's the right thing to do. And if you don't like them, check on them, because it's the right thing to do. Somebody's mom, grandpa, grandma, it's a family member. You'd want somebody to do it for you, man. And if you didn't, and you're pretty heartless. And um, you deserve to be left alone. No one check on you. So, but do the right thing. Just for one day, set yourself aside. Set yourself aside. 
you know, that egotistical, I don't know why you're egotistical, but yeah, set that ego aside, go play checkers with them, listen to their stories, sit with them, chat, chop it up, bake a cake with them, Do anything, put a smile on their face, we need that, man, um, so please check on them. Also, keep your animals hydrated, fed. If you love them like family, you'll treat them like family, not like stepchildren. Not that there's anything wrong with stepchildren. I mean, it's an old proverbial saying, we'll say. But if you love them like family, treat them like family, okay? Get them spayed and neutered and all that frosty bullshit that Bob Barker and Drew Carey say. It's not bullshit, but you know what I'm saying, motherfucker. (laughs) But take care of them. Um, this one here lives like a king. That's why he's called Kingskin. We keep him hydrated, fed. He eats better than most people. He lives better than most people. Me and Todd love him. Our roommate, we love him. He's nine and a half. I feed him too many donuts and bagels and cream cheese and pizza. <laughs> Some beef jerky too. Somebody said that's animal abuse, animal neglect. Well, in a sense they were right because that's hard on their digestive tract. And then, you know, clog their arteries, you know, give them cholesterol, it can't kill them. I mean, flat out. But he's at that age where, let him enjoy it. His teeth are falling out. Pretty soon he won't be able to chew the shit. So I'm letting him live life, just like me. I'm eating shit that I'm not supposed to eat. But I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you ain't paying my bills. So, so love him like family. You say you love him like family. And last but not least, for all you cynical fuckers out there, be uncynical for one day. Get outside yourself, man. Do something nice for somebody without even telling them you did it. How would that, man? That would be something else, wouldn't it? But you wouldn't last. You'd have to tell me, hey, man, did you like what I did? Well, why'd you even do it? Fuck it up now. Get out your side. Get outside of yourself and do something nice for somebody. There's too much cyn- cynical fucks in this world. Who are so egotistical, arrogant... It's a vile, violent, sick, pathetic world out there now. It's we'll never. Everybody says, "Oh, normal." We're going back to normal. We'll never know. We never knew normal as it was. We'll never know our normal ever again. That's dead. That's forget. It's, have to walk around with a vac- vaccination card. You know, chips in the wrist coming next. They're leading the sheep to the slaughter, and I ain't one of them. So, Brandon, good job. Thanks for the um, uh, the show with the wax. Don Ross, it was a great show. Beautiful cards, beautiful cards. Keep up the good work. And don't uh, don't conform to nobody, man. Just keep being you. Because without you in this field, I wouldn't have learned what I learned from you. And I'm not going to tell you who it is or what it is. I'm just going to tell you thank you. With that, everybody, Maddie, I just want to say this. Special shout out to my daughter. I love you with all my heart, Maddie. Every ounce of love a father can love his daughter. You're bigger than life itself. And you are my everything. So, be good for your mom. She works hard. Tell her she did an excellent job. You got one of these. Use it. You can outwit the wittiest. Okay? You can't outwit me. <laughs> oh, mwah. I love you. Well, maybe you can. Just a little bit. How about? Yeah, baby. See that follow through? Woo! Woo! Do slow motion. Love you, man. Be good. And with that being said, I'm going to lead you out with some type of video. Maybe a bottle. I don't know. Maybe a good fight. A good fighting. Maybe a Tyson. Maybe I'll throw a Tyson out there. Or better yet, maybe a baseball brawl. How about Piazza and Clemens with the bat broke? Throw it at him. Maybe I'll do that. With that being said, thank you, Brazil. Thank you, um, Belgium. Thank you, UK. Thank you, Philippines. And thank you... Here in the States, and thank you here down at the homeless shelter. <laughs> thank you and the soup line and all that good other stuff. So with that being said, get you a pack of these. Good shit. Peace.